Hello Explorer! Welcome to a new episode of our long way around the world. In this video we show you some of the best things to do in Buenos Aires. We're gonna visit the Recoleta, the famous cemetery. We're gonna eat steaks, we're gonna go to a tango show. And we're gonna eat ice cream. Ice cream, very important. <laughs> and if it's too hot, we maybe go to the aqua park. <laughs> yeah, we definitely need to cool down. It's more than 30 degrees here. And there are a lot of green spaces around the city. We're gonna explore some of them, uh, see this really famous flower statue close to the University of Social Sciences. Yeah, then some, they have some beautiful <laughs> neighborhoods with colored houses. Ah, uh, uh, yeah, El Caminito. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and all the artists, they dance tango there. Yeah, we're gonna visit all that and then we're gonna sum it up in the highlights and then present it all to you. We are in the beautiful El Ateneo bookshop. And uh, I mean, it looks absolutely fascinating. And we love books, but because of the weight restrictions, we mostly travel with ebooks. So I guess we're not gonna buy one. crossing the widest street of the world, the Avenue 9 of Julio <laughs> of July. And we made it to the other side. One of the great things about the people of Buenos Aires is that they're super polite. So, over there you see people lining up for the bus, so it's not a crowded circle, it's like everyone gets in line, gets his place, and the bus arrives, the first two gonna get in. We just completed our first successful subway ride in Buenos Aires, and it was quite nice. It was 50 cent and it was classic music. Playing. <laughs> yes, playing. And it was actually it's actually one of the first subway in the Americas, they built it in the 1920s. But they stopped building it and it's a really small net so we also have to drive with Uber here in the city and probably we're gonna rent the bike. Huge pot of ice cream. Wow! And it's my favorite ice cream, Maracuya and chocolate. And, and my favorite, favorite as well. cookies and cream. We are here in Buenos Aires in Caminito, the most colorful street in the city. This was actually a poor part of the city, but then an Argentinian artist started to paint the walls of this region and now it's a tourist magnet. Today we do a free walking tour in Buenos Aires. I mean, it's not free. It's basically you pay at the end, depending on how much you like the tour. Yeah, if the guide is really good, you give him more money. If he doesn't tell you anything about the city, you give him no money. <laughs> so it's a great incentive for the guides to do an awesome job. And for us, it's a great way to learn about this, the history of the, of the city, of politics, um, insights. Yeah, but today it will be really, really hot. So we had 30 degrees and sunshine. Wow. <laughs> This bridge is called Puente de la Mujer and it symbolizes a couple dancing tango. So if you like, 
user imagination, look closely, you can see this, um, the one part going up, it's the leg of the tango dancer. We're here at the San Telmo Fair in Buenos Aires and it's a big antique market uh, since 1971 and it stretches over nine blocks, I guess? No, and 30 it's blocks. it's said to be visited by 12,000 people every week. <laughs> That's pretty big. So we're gonna have a look and afterwards we're gonna go to the famous San Telmo food market. Buenos Aires is a huge city. <laughs> yeah, in the bigger metropolitan area are living more than 15 million people. And still in the inner circle, which is called El Capital, are living almost 3 million. Yeah, that's almost half the size of Switzerland, but it's 8 million inhabitants. <laughs> yeah, but nature is always closed. So we're sitting here in a rose garden next to our apartment we rented here. And it's really beautiful to walk around these green spaces all over the city. Yeah, they have like a big ecological reserve, they have other parks, so I guess you're not going to walk far to reach a green area, <laughs> which is yeah. great. So normally we always compare the countries we travel a little bit with our small country we're coming from. And actually this one here in Argentina, it's 67 times bigger than Switzerland. It's crazy. <laughs> but it only has five times as much inhabitants, so imagine how many empty spaces they must have here. Amazing for green places, yeah. <laughs> Today is the hottest day in Buenos Aires and that's why we need to cool down and, that, and we go to the biggest aqua park in Buenos Aires. Actually, it's the yeah, only aqua park in Buenos Aires. <laughs> <laughs> we want to have fun today. <laughs> yeah, we're going to aqua fun. We're going to ride some water slides and uh, go into so in some waves uh, in, in the bar. Jump around, jump around. <laughs> As a team, we're not the only ones who want to go to the aqua park today. So that's the line behind us. And that's actually the line in front of us. <laughs> so it's going to take a while. Today gets spooky. We're gonna see the, <laughs> one of the biggest or at least one of the most beautiful cemeteries in the world. On Recollecto Cemetery in Buenos Aires. We're gonna see dead men walking probably. <laughs> but it's like not only a cemetery, it's actually one of the biggest open air museums in the world. Yeah, because they have a lot of sculptures, a lot of artwork and it's probably the main tourist attraction in Buenos Aires. There are a lot of cruise ship tourists. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I all want to see Evita because she's actually buried here. Yeah, we're gonna visit her. Maybe we hear her singing. <gasps> Spooky. <laughs>
another hot day in Buenos Aires and we go to a shopping mall. Actually not for shopping because we are on this trip, but we need to see because it's said to be as beautiful as Lafayette in Paris. Buenos Aires is a huge city and we explored it by walking. Wow, that was exhausting. Birding <laughs> feeds, yeah. Or with the subway, but because it's limited also with Uber. So tell us in the comments, how do you travel a huge city? We hope you got inspired to travel this amazing city. If you liked the video, give us a thumb up and sign up to our channel so you're not gonna miss the next video. And the next video for sure will be cool because we're changing from summer to winter. Mm. Yeah, we're gonna go back to Switzerland. Yeah, see you in our next video why we do that.